Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the UKW Arena here in Bali. It is episode 102. It is Friday Night Showdown. I am the voice of UKW, the very colourful Brett Hadley, here with the one and only general manager extraordinaire known as Red Brocco. Good evening, sir. Good evening, You're all right. You're all right. Yes, I'm really well. We are hot on the heels of Hallowed Ground this past weekend, that steel cage extravaganza. And it was. We have new champions. We have people turning to the dark side. We have all sorts to discuss. Didn't see that coming, did we? No, we didn't. And I also didn't see coming our first guest who's coming out here tonight. We saw the essential Paul Hubris win the World Television Championship on Saturday night, but then he was not expecting what happened next. The return of this gentleman I'm about to bring out. Get him Let's out get him out Let's here. Get him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome, returning to Friday Night Showdown, the one and the only, the prodigy, Joe Segway! Cedric challenging who for a retribution on the 25th of November, but that's not Hubris' music. Hang on, there's the former world television champion, Johan Hunt, storming the ring here. Got the music right now, I ain't got that. I look around and I see many idiots tonight here in this arena. Biggest idiots. I can't see a mirror, can you? In front of my face. Do you seriously think you're going to get four people in the face? And suddenly, I would know that you deserve a title shot. No, 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 that doesn't work like that. I have true know that. Everyone with the common sense knows that it was so unfair for me to have two matches inside the steel gate. When I went to the golden match, I was in 100%. Uh, and still, exactly. I beat Chester. And Pupilis, he never beat me. He never beat me. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm getting my rematch. I deserve a rematch. Johan Hunt, cry me a river. He wants a rematch. Oh, and there is the music of the new world television champion. It was a matter of time. Rivers is here on Friday Night Showdown. You know what, Johan, for the first time probably ever in going forward, I actually agree with something you just said there. Joe Sedgwick, you, you come out here and all you did was kick me in the face and think you deserve a title shot. Not only that, you're blindsided, but you have to wear a disguise, which shows me that you're a bigger coward than I ever thought you were. Oh dear. Oh, I wiped the floor with you last time and picked your poison, and quite frankly, it's a miracle you're actually out here standing, so I don't know what recovery program you went through, we need to get you tested for something. Um, <laughs> 
but you are here. And then, Johan, don't worry, I will get to you, because quite frankly, you think you deserve a title shot, and you think you deserve a title shot, where, as a matter of fact, you can even beat Leone Lowe's. In fact, Leone Lowe's beat you in about, what was it, 2 minutes, 45 seconds? Uh, she didn't need the heat with any sort of move to knock you out, you were just a clumsy idiot, and you actually got pinned. Regardless, you're undeserving, you're undeserving, I'm the champ, I'm the essential one, I'm the one that calls the shots around here now, alright? <laughs> That's did it. you hear what, just what he said? Hang on, I, hang on. I think there's somebody else calling the shots. Oh, you're going to pipe up Rockwell. Yeah, of course you're going to pipe up everybody. Because, for one, I call shots, not you. Right. You two, first off to beat each other tonight. The winner gets a shot at that title. That's fair. That works. You can defend that title tonight against Jacob Reed. What? Defend it? Like I said, I call the shots, not you. See you later. Jacob Reedy. Wow. Rocco is the one who calls the shots, and tonight he's going to defend that title against Jacob Reed. Rocco's had enough of it, and tonight, so that's going to be tonight, Johan Hunt against Joe Sedgwick. The winner then faces Paul Hubris on November 25th. Cedric has got his opportunity if he can defeat somebody. He knows very well this evening. We'll find out later on if Joe Cedric, in his first match in a month, ladies and gentlemen, can defeat not just anybody, but the man who held that World Television Championship for 161 days, no less. Yeah, a long time, like, wasn't it? It was the longest, one of the longest yeah, ratings yeah, we've had yeah, yeah. here in UKW, but you've, you've acted fairly, Red Rocker. I think so. I think you have yeah, too. Think we'll sort that out tonight. Joe Sedgwick and Johan Hunt, one on one. Someone's not happy about what's, it backstage. What's going on now? Someone's not happy about what, what's going on here. Got a I don't know. It's going on. Whoa, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Kame and Carlisle. Carl, is that Dylan? Tommy Dylan? Go. What's going on here? Tommy Dylan has just ambushed. I suspect came and Carlisle behind us here. Well, it sounded a bit that way, didn't it? What is going on here? These two already had a, a, a match not so long ago. Carlisle has been blindsided here, Mr. Brocco. And that way. I don't like this whatsoever. And Dylan is just absolutely going to work here on the collective. Oh, no. And Dylan has got the legs. Oh, not this. Kevin Carlisle's in a bad so he just kicked him right in the oh my days. What, what's up with him? I don't know. What is it? Yeah, this. what is up with Dylan? He's gonna with the Kiara lock? What's the point in this? He's got that Kiara lock on the legs and now he's got it on oh no, he's pulling back on Carlisle. Carlisle's got nowhere to go here. Somebody out here. Can somebody do something? Tommy get, Dylan's get me, unhinged. Get me some rest. Can we I don't know. T T Tommy Dylan is absolutely unhinged here. Tommy, have we got any rest? You yeah, this rest? thing is, this thing is going crazy here. The referee's got to get Dylan off of Carlisle. He might be out at this point. Came and Carlisle have been ambushed well and truly here, folks. I mean, what's the point in this? What is Dylan trying to prove here? What is he doing? I do not know, but. I do not like it whatsoever. Cayman Carlisle getting absolutely destroyed here by Tommy Dillon, and I don't know what's got into the wild card. Dillon saying, You will know to Red Brocco, but what was the meaning of this? Dillon just, he ambushed Carlisle backstage. Carlisle was just socialising tonight, didn't have a match, and Dillon didn't care. He took his shot at Carlisle, put him in that Kiara lock for an extended period of time. The look in Tommy Dillon's face at the side of me is something I'm not used to. He's absolutely furious. I hope we can get some uh, some help when I mean, Carlisle's trying to get back to his feet here in the ring. He just took a beating, I'll tell you. At the hands of the wild card, Tommy Dillon, ladies and gentlemen. That's not good whatsoever. I don't know what, what got into Tommy Dillon there. Carlisle, though, is back to his feet, thankfully. What's up with him these days? I don't know. What's up with everybody around here? I don't know. Carlisle was not... He was just here socialising tonight. He wasn't even in a match. He was just here... Just, just minding just, his own. Yeah, like, literally you know, minding like his own, own business. 
Was the collective, I'm sure we'll hear more about that. Carlisle's not going to let that one go. No, no, I'll tell you, he's not, not. Yeah, that's not going to no, he's, he's not pushed over in car. No, but look at that, he's, he's gingerly getting out. He was choked Steady. out by that Kiara lock. Steady, Pop. Steady is right. Oh, oh Dylan! With a spear on the stage, what is up with Tommy Dillon? He just attacked him again, Red Brocker, and now in the ring, Dillon one more time. Oh my God! Dillon takes him out and nearly spears him in half. There's no need. What is up with Tommy Dillon here? And now gets out of the ring, happy with what he's done. And this is this is just uncalled for. That's what this is absolutely uncalled for here on Friday Night Showdown. Tommy Dillon points his finger at Cayman Carlisle. Dillon looking very happy with what he's just done, but why? Looks back at the ring, sees Carlisle in a crumpled heap, it has to be said. And Dillon with a smirk on his face. And I guess Cayman Carlisle does know now. <laughs> We'll be back. Friday Night Showdown is back right after this commercial break. We'll be back in a moment. We are back. It's Friday Night Showdown. You're all right, Red Brocker. Oh, aye, yeah. You got a headache? Just, uh, you want some painkillers, mate? Need some, don't we? You do not know what got into Tommy Dillon there, but oh, my days. Absolutely uncalled for. That's well, what that was. I don't know what that was about. I've got no idea. Maybe we'll find out at some point what was on the mind. Why Tommy Dillon did what he did before I don't, the break. I don't know what's going through. Who his knows? Mind, I don't know. Right, right. Uh, should we get our first match out? You're going to love who's coming out next. Yeah. It's going to get better for you. <laughs> <Can I> go <laughs> Let's I'm do going it. Off. I'm no, you, go you've got to stay here. Sorry. Sorry, you've got to stay with me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your first match on Friday Night Showdown is a singles contest. Set for one fall. Introducing first. Oh, Roger, who's going to go from bad to worse? Here comes, can't get more worse. <laughs> Here comes one half of the reigning UK wrestling tag team champions. Introducing first, he is one half of your UK wrestling tag team champions, representing the Empire. He is the hardest working man in UK wrestling. He is Chris Castle. Say what you want, but the Empire did defeat Level Up on Saturday, Red Rocco. Yeah, they did, yeah. And they retained their tag team titles minutes before Johan Hunt came out here and lost the World Television Championship. No, we're not supposed to talk about that bit. No, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, Castle tonight, in for a test. And introducing his opponent. The test comes in the form of somebody who's recently made his return to UK. <laughs> Oh yes, that's good, that's good. And he's been on a bit of a roll as yes, well. Hasn't he? Ah! he seems happy to be back. Oh absolutely. Introducing next, Damon Crow! Yeah, my name's Stutz Damon. Yeah, he got down them this time, did a bit steep. We are live from the heart of West Yorkshire, it is UK Wrestling's Friday Night Showdown. We're at the Red Rocco at the desk. Damon Crow making his way to the ring. And Chris Castle got wind of this match and. Uh, Castle was on his social media this today, uh, Mr. Mr. Brocco. Not not a um, a shock because Castle likes to yeah, know, spout his mouth. Yeah. yeah. And did you know that on May the fourteenth, twenty twenty two, Chris Castle's first match? Uh, sorry, it was uh, Damon Crow's first match back. Chris Castle beat him that night. Right. And he cheated to do it. Well, and now. Yeah, I know, but tonight, Damon Crow is out for revenge, but Chris Castle says that it's time to send this Muppet back to the shadow realm he came from. 
Those were the words of Chris Castle earlier today. <laughs> well, he's always full of words, isn't he? Uh, he's full of hot air. That's full of summer, anyway. Hot, yeah, 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 we can't hot say air, that. Yeah, we'll go with hot air. Yeah, we'll go with yeah. hot air. But Castle is somehow one half of the UK wrestling tag team champions. Somehow. Along, yeah, along with Johan Hunt, who we will see later on tonight's main event. Johan Hunt and Joe Sedgwick one more time. I'll wait for that one. I can't wait. The winner of that faces Paul Hubris on November 25th at UK Wrestling's Retribution. Absolutely. The yeah, hardcore champion JPR watching our show tonight from the firing squad HQ. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Conviction in your voice there, yeah, Mr. Brocker. Yeah, I'm really glad JPR regained the hardcore championship on Saturday, but we must say it was with the help of the newest member of the firing squad. Listen to my words very carefully. The UK wrestling women's champion, Kirsty Love. I can't understand why she's it's still, that still, still, why is she still involved. Why is she involved in herself? Still with feels her? really weird saying Don't it that. Just... I know, yeah. Damon Crow though, the roll up on Castle here. Gets a two and a half. Oh, nice one. Right to the face Don't of Chris it? Castle. Yeah, it really was. And now Damon Crow off the ropes with a clothesline. Is that it? No, he's not it. Castle back out. I mean, we've got to say what we want about Castle, but he's, he's resilient. He's got some uh, fight in him. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I've wrestled him a few times. You have, yeah, you, you know, know what he's like. Know you what he's know, like. yeah. Damon Crow now, the front yeah, face lock on Castle. It's not one of the fairest wrestlers that we've got, is it? Uh, well, that's the one. Over he. Oh, that big boot there. And yeah, what happened with the firing squad? I mean, why, Kirsty Love? Why? Yeah, why? Why would she do that? I don't know. She's had such a good match and all with Ruby. I know, yeah, Ruby Bucko and Kirsty Love had a great competitive match. They did. They did. For the Women's Championship at Hallow Ground and then later on as well. To the surprise of everybody, Kirsty Love was the reason. In my eyes, JPR is now the hardcore champion and the firing squad yeah, are does. stronger than ever. Well. They've got a few belts, I don't know if it's made them any stronger. I'd say it has, to be fair, yeah. I don't want to be fair to the firing squad, but I would say it has. I yeah. be fair with firing squad. Speaking of not fair, that's what Chris Castle is, not fair. Well, he's never fair. Damon Crow, though, fighting out the corner here. Crow, yeah. fighting back, Castle ducks under. Castle might be looking for the Castle Rock. Oh. Knee lift by Castle, right to the back. One more time goes Chris Castle. He's self-proclaimed hardest working man in UK wrestling. That's what, that's what he reckons. Yeah, self-proclaimed, ladies and gents. Yeah, it's not us saying that, it's him. It's not us saying that. Absolutely. It's all his own. It's all his own beliefs. Still to come tonight, though, somebody Chris Castle is very familiar with, the now former UK wrestling world television champion, Leonie Rose, will be here in action against Cliff Harrison. She will. Sebastian Mercer also in action tonight against the old nemesis, Kaysom Riley. And, yes... You heard it right. Joe Sedgwick and Johan Hunt raised by freaking wolves in the main event tonight for a shot at Paul Hoobis' title as Crow goes for that leg lariat and misses. Oh! Castle didn't miss, though. He didn't, did he? No. Crow going for the uh, spinning wheel kick, not a leg. Well, it is like a leg lariat, but a spinning wheel kick. And now look at Castle's oh, arrogance. Yeah, that's yeah. Put some effort in if, you, if you're going to pin them. But he, put he, puts, some effort he puts effort. He's the hardest working man in UK wrestling, uh, well, Yeah, like he says, but <laughs> so I, he says. Yeah, I still don't agree with that. Myself, His words, not anyway, mine. Uh, Castle, now what's he doing here? Picks up Damon Crow. Uh, Is he going to throw him? Up? Oh, big fall away slam there. Crow being lobbed around at the minute. Time for Sam to count. He does to two and a half. It's not enough for Chris Castle here. And we'll find out who's going to be the next people to challenge. Castle and Johan Hunt for those tag team titles. I'm sure there's plenty of people who want a shot. Oh, they're queuing up. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Definitely. Castle queuing up himself in the corner, and Damon Crow with the knee is now up on the second row. He's up Castle under his arm, and they oh! Stuns Castle in the corner here, does Damon Crow. Now the clothesline. Damon Crow, one more time with an axe handle that time. Now Damon Crow setting up. Chris Castle in the corner, ducks under him. And there is oh, that beautiful. leg lariat we talked about before. Damon Crow might have just dimmed the lights of Senton. Castle it's might be fine. out. Hooks the leg. Castle oh, gets his joking. shoulder up. No, I'm not joking. He got his shoulder up. <laughs> Damon Crow has to do a little bit more here tonight on Friday Night Showdown. I'm sure he's got plenty left in him yet. This looks like he's stunned a little though. Chris is on Dream Street at the minute here, but no, trying to fight back, back out. Yeah, out. Still some life left in the castle here 
up he goes the Mishinoku driver Castle's very good at doing that but he hasn't got enough energy look to, to get, get the cover really quick he's got a loose cover on Crow kicks out at two you, you can't you can, you're never going to pin a man by just <laughs> you, you've got to put yeah but Castle's Castle's been rocked get it Castle rocked now that might be what he's looking for here here he goes uh, yeah. it's like he's, he heard me yeah, yeah. tries to <laughs> stop, stop giving him ideas I know I'm sorry but David Crow all right to the face done. Castle might be out he just, he just hit that spinning forearm right in his face, Red Brocco. Damon Crow. Oh, tries a kick. Oh, oh, oh I didn't do back. that one. That might be it. Castle is. Oh, no. Where's he finding it from? He's finding something somewhere, isn't he? The resilience of Chris Castle. Amazing. I'm not sure it's amazing, but, yeah. And now. I'm just trying to be kind. I know you are, I know. Trying to pick up Castle in the suplex, but Castle fights yeah, out of this. He don't want that. Castle. Now, looking for the Castle Rock, maybe. Oh, and again, Crow fighting out. Everything Castle's trying to do. Crow has an answer for. Down he goes. Crucifix. Castle gets rolled over. Castle's over. One, two, three. Got him. Castle got beat. And Damon Crow is out of there in a hurry. He's not hanging around, is it? No, he's not hanging around. Damon Crow just beat one half of our tag team champion. Chris said, I'm about it. Look at that. Here's your winner, Damon Crow! Castle is fuming! And since coming back, Damon Crow's been on quite a roll, it has to be said. And it continues tonight. As he defeats a very angry Chris Castle, who can't quite believe what has happened to him. Yes, he's got it. Castle, very, very disgruntled after that. Damon Crow hassled the castle and won. Castle's angry, look at his face. Yeah, it's all right across his face, look at that. Not Castle real. is not happy. Castle is in literal disbelief at what just happened to him. He just got beat. What happened, Chris? Chris, what happened? He's not listening to anybody. What? I don't. Castle's out of here, Brocco. He's not listening. Wow. No, he's not happy whatsoever. Well done, Damon Crow. And like I say, he's been on quite a roll he since he came back. Yeah, since he's come back, he's, uh, he's on it, isn't he? He is back. It's a new day today. He's back with a vengeance. He is back with a vengeance. Yeah. Somebody else back with a vengeance right after our next break will be now our former television champion, Leonie Rhodes, is in action when showdown continues from Batley in just a moment. Stay right there. We're back. It is Friday Night Showdown, episode 102, live from the heart of West Yorkshire. We are in the UKW Arena here in Batley. It's the voice and the general manager here. And on Saturday night, we saw, like I said earlier, the 161-day of reign of Johan Hunt. Yeah, we did. Our television champion came to a screeching Good halt girl. in about three minutes. Good girl. <laughs> Leonie Rose was the one to end that reign of Johan Hunt. But Ooh. then Leonie Rose had to run the gauntlet, remember? She did. And she fell to Paul Hubris. But now, Which Leonie is Rose shame. is back. It's a new dawn for Leonie Rose. Well, let's see how she's doing let's do after that. that. Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest on Friday Night Showdown is a singles match. Set for one fall. Introducing first. This should be good. These two faced off before... And they're going to go at it one more time on Friday Night Showdown. Being accompanied by the Emerald Bruiser, Sebastian Mercer, representing the Breaking Bone Studios, he is Cliff Harrison. And introducing his opponent. The Breaking Bone Studios unsuccessful against NRG in the cage at the weekend. Let's see how Cliff Harrison does against this young lady. Leone Rose! Leone's got a new hairdo, Red Rocker, you know it's that. It's a 
looks good. What's that? It's got a new hairdo. New hairdo, yes. yes. The only told me earlier on, she was like, Brett, I'm ready to put the Empire behind me and forge my own path. Yeah, she does right. She can, she can do it on her own. She doesn't need anybody to back her. Exactly. So it's nice to tag with it all the way. She certainly doesn't need Chris Castle and Johan Hunt. Yeah, you did tag with her the other yeah. way. Yeah. They want the outcome we wanted, you know what I mean? But still. But water has gone under a lot of bridges yeah, as for Leone Rose and like I said she said to me earlier she was like look I want to get this done on my own terms my own way and Leone Rose now against Cliff Harris like I said these two have faced off before it was good then it's going to be good now oh yeah definitely she's not bothered she? she'll just get stuck in she, equal uh, opportunities for Leone Rose yeah she doesn't yeah. care but Cliff's pulling her out at the moment come on ref you need to watch that Sam needs to watch what Cliff Harrison is doing on that new hair of Leonie Rose. Harrison gets downed. Beautiful. Down goes the man from the cliff side. Now leap from Leone. Over he goes. Now it looks, but Leone's ducked it. Looks for the death drop DDT, and Cliff Harrison rolls over. Jack Knight cover. Gets one and a bit. But nearly over very quickly, then. It really was. Two fantastic nice athletes drop here. Nice dropkick in the corner there from Leone. Yeah. And Leone, house of fire, whips Cliff, though Cliff reverses it. Into the corner of Leone, oh, who puts on the brakes, an elbow right into the face of Harrison. Leone ducks under, Harrison arm dragged. One more time for Leone Rose. Cliff's wondering what's hit him at the moment. I think so, Leone with a cross body. Might have got Harrison, he's got two. He's got to kick out, that's what he's got to do. And he has done, yeah, he has done. Two and eight, half. Yes. Now Leone Rose, channeling the energy of this crowd in battle this evening. They're all behind her. Oh, but Harrison right to the eyes. See? Cliff used to be a good lad, didn't he? He did, but now, oh, when under the, the influence of Sebastian Mercer. Yeah, that's not helping. Yeah. That's not helping. <laughs> he says it, he, he will say it is oh, helping. Oh, yeah, of course him. he will, yeah. But I'm and now, over the ropes as Leonie Rose, referee's got to get him off there. And Leonie Rose in a bit of trouble here on Friday Night Showdown that we get still to come tonight. Joe Sedgwick returning to the ring against his former tag team partner, no less. And the former now world television champion, Johan Hunt, tonight's main event here on Showdown. And now, out between them two, like. Yeah, that'll be good later on tonight for a shot at the world television championship. The only reverses Cliff Harrison into the buckle, follows him in, but Cliff's waiting there. We were ready for it up to He really was. Cliff Harrison's always ready, to his credit. Now, picks up the only rose. Nice suplex by Harrison. Big suplex. You hear the anguish on the back of Leone Rose here. Harrison's now in control, hooks the leg, gets two and a half. Still some life left in oh, Leone Rose. Loads of life left in Leone. And she can say she was the one that ended Johan Hunt's reign. It's just unfortunate it didn't that's, that's quite happen. That's definitely a claim, isn't it? Yeah, yep, she definitely. can say it. Definitely. And it was with a roll up, it wasn't with anything fancy, she just caught him. Off guard, and that was enough. And that, that was enough. It was. I think uh, probably Johan just living on his own belief that you know, he, he doesn't he need thought, to do a lot. Well, he, thought he, was, right. he thought he was invincible, let's yeah. be honest. I'm Johan, I ain't going to lose. No. Everybody could, you know, he could throw anybody at him, but he wasn't going to lose, but he did. Harrison with a neck breaker on Leone, a lazyish cover, though. He rolls back and only gets two out of it. Cliff Harrison. Of course. Now Mercer jaw jacking with the crowd. Somebody. Uh, well, good. As long as he's doing that, he's, he's leaving the only alone. He's not interfering. That. Yeah, he hasn't interfered at all. No, yet, no, he hasn't. Yeah, to no, him. That's, that's good. And that's about the only time I'll ever be uh, fair to Sebastian Mercer who's in action later against his old nemesis, Case and Riley, here on Friday Night Showdown a little bit later on. And I'm sure. Um, Cliff will be out to support him. I, mean, I would like to think so, depending how this match turns well, out of for course, him. Yeah, yeah. And the only Rose now in trouble. The Maria, the most beautiful move you will yeah, ever she's see. Out of it, no. Nope, she is out. Oh, turn around is fair play, right? Yeah. Right to the eyes. Leone Rose with the Red Queen. Good night, Cliff. 
Harrison is out. She's on titles with that move. Is this it? No, Harrison kicked out. Somehow. Yeah, he somehow found that little bit of uh, energy left. Yeah, there, what somewhere. he needed to kick out there. Leone, though, is up to the second rope. On the inside, Harrison goes to meet and gets met with a boot. Oh, and now Leone with the legs round. Oh, nice right. head scissors. Nice yeah, Leone showing us something here. Good we know where he is now. Oh, Leone knows exactly where she is, though. So nice clothesline. And, and then there's another. another. Leone's starting to rock and roll here she's, on the She's showdown. enjoying herself, I feel. She is. It's the Leone Rose that was always destined to be, I think. And now looking to kick Harrison in the head. <laughs> They hurt them, you know. They hurt, and they that might hurt. be it. Harrison might be out. Oh, no, two and a half, maybe two and three quarters. Mercer looks worried on the outside. Bit, yeah, that's what concerned does old uh, crap. I mean, Sebastian Mercer there. Now the only road setting up. Oh, no. Oh. Yes. Just couldn't resist it. Holding the foot of Leone Rose for no reason. And now Harrison with the Haluba kick in the corner. Oh, Leone. This could be a breaking bones, uh, breaking bones getaway. Oh, not like this. No, no. She's out of it. Harrison can't believe that kick wasn't enough. Screaming at the ref, saying it was three. It wasn't. Leone somehow had the wherewithal to kick out, but now Harrison might be setting her up here, Red Brocco. The Maria think, is coming. Yeah, he's, he's working. He's, he's going again. for it, but this time, no, Leone to the out. back. Leone rose up here. Oh, big suplex. First landed right on his neck. He did a bit, didn't he? He did, he did right on his neck. And what's Leone Rose doing? Leone Rose is twisting Cliff Harrison. Oh my God. Leone Rose has caught Cliff Harrison right in the middle of the ring. Cliff's got nowhere to go, Brocco. Cliff oh, might have to oh, tap out oh, here. Man. You need to tap some. Cliff has absolutely nowhere to go. He's been contorted. He's gone. And that's it. Wow. Yes. Harrison Beautiful. had nowhere to go. And Leone Rose, victorious. Mercer can't believe it. Look at it. Can't, can it? Look at it. He's so fed up. Wow. Get in there and scrape your partner up, Bob. Here is your winner, Leone Rose. And that was impressive. Harrison had absolutely nowhere to go. He was cool. Well and truly. Well and truly cool. Well, the only Rose rebounds from that tough night on Saturday at Hallow Ground. And the only Rose with a victory, a well-deserved victory at that, on Friday Night Showdown at the Breaking Bones Studios. Having to uh, regroup because Sebastian Mercer will be in action a little bit later on here on Showdown against Case and Riley. And um, wow, that was that was. Oh, what? Oh, Harrison can't believe it. He don't look happy, does it? He got caught. He don't look happy. He didn't That's get what caught. happened. Yeah. He, he, he got caught. He thought he was there. He thought he'd done it. He really did. Just, just uh, yeah. Wow. She did, she had a fantastic match. Yeah. That was fantastic. Leo Rose, new hair and all with a victory here on Friday Night Showdown. Still to come, we're going to see, like I said, Sebastian Mercer against Case and Riley. And then tonight's main event will feature Joe Sedgwick in his first match in a month, ladies and gentlemen. One on one with his former tag team partner, Johan Hund. Uh -huh. Cannot wait for that. Former television champion now as well. I know he won't like me calling him that, but it's the truth. Uh, that's tonight's main event here on Friday Night Showdown. The winner of that match goes on to our next pay-per-view. It is Retribution. November 25th, Saturday night, three weeks tomorrow. Get your tickets now at the UK Wrestling website. Or you can join us on our YouTube subscription service and join me and Just James live Saturday night, November 25th, live in your living room. Have a great entertaining, uh, entertaining evening of wrestling and see if Paul Hubris can leave there with the television championship. Tonight, though, he's going to defend that title as well. He might not even be champion by then, right? Oh, he might have lost it, right? We'll find today. out. No, More Friday Night Showdown on the way See right what? after this. Stay right there. We'll be back in Batley in a minute. We are back in the room. It is live from Batley, UK Wrestling's Friday Night Showdown, episode 102. It's the voice and the general manager here. And, uh, uh what? Oh, really? Oh, God. You're not going to like this, Red Rocker. Am I not? What, no. What's new? Well... 
<laughs> you keep just, doing this to me. I know, I know, now? but just, just, yeah, I've got to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the ring at this time the UK Wrestling Friday Night Showdown around the clock champion, Uther, and the, ty uh, the director, even, Tyler Tarantino of the Firing Squad. This microphone broke. Oh, what a shame. Oh, there we go, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all happy to hear that voice, I'm sure. It's gone again. It's gone again. I haven't messed about with this microphone. You still like the sound of his voice, that's what it is. There we go again. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all happy to hear that voice, I'm sure. Yeah. It's gone again. 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 It's gone Please. Hey, hey, Uther. Yeah, don't you, you lost that title. You have nothing to say to me. Yeah, don't you, you that one. It's spit. Spit? There we go. Finally, we have a dog. microphone that works. And whoever is up there who is messing my microphone, I'm sure it's probably you, Jonathan, trying to get in our head. But it won't work. Because I have shut your mouth. It's and you have there. no else in his head. The firing squad dominated. The show. We defeated everyone who stood in our way. Jonathan was left in a pile of Lego and went four times. And then we had Damien Black sending that freak back to the mental asylum he calls home. We dominated the show. Listen, we are done with Jonathan. We are done with Mustafa Khan. They have been dealt with. They have been shot down. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to present to you the premiere of a video by our glorious leader, the architect of the silencer era. Wrestling Hallowed Ground was a very successful night for the firing squad. Still, World Heavyweight Champion King Quiet, the silencer baby. We regained the UK Wrestling Hardcore Championship and we added the UK Wrestling Women's Championship and Champion Kirsty Love to our ranks. Anything that you'd like to say? To the firing squad are here to stay. And second, everyone will bow down to the firing squad. Oh, damn. Guns up. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting started. There are still belts to collect. 
still gold to wrap around our waist. And here's the thing, every one of you to us, you come down to us, you are I understand that if you're scared, you want to do everything, everything in your power to stop the undeniable force coming for you. But you can't stop us. We are the freedom fighters of UKW. We are the heroes, not Jonathan, not you, Sapper. And we are done with them. Going forward, it will just be the firing. How about you, social man? about the complexities of the firing squad, listen and learn. We are going to rule UKW as we have done. And we're going to prove all of you wrong every time we do it. Every single time! Oh, God, thank God. Thank God for that. And here is Mustafa. They've got the mics in the ring, but Mustafa Khan is out here. And he's heard enough of this clap trap from these two idiots. Look at him walk over him. Look at how big he is. He's over than most people. And on Saturday night, remember, he did defeat Uther. It was non title, but he did win. And Mustafa's had enough of this. Good, haven't we all? Yo, listen up, delusional squad. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, firing squad. You lot stood there thinking that you got a clean sweep. You got a short memory, son. From what I remember, and from what these lot remember, I threw you round like a rag doll. Uh, yeah, I mean, that happened. Luther's yeah, got short term memory, hasn't he? You yeah, out of history, and I pinned you one, two, three. It happened inside the steel cage and Uther might have finally realised that Mustafa Khan is telling the truth, ladies and gentlemen. And who has the best? Who is the around the clock champion? The man who runs the show! The man who kicked your face in at the pay-per-view! Oh, hang on a minute! Oh, there we go. Not the music that the Fire Squad wanted to hear. Long-time friend and partner in the ring of Mustafa Khan. You definitely pull the stunt no one was expecting, having Kirsty Love join the Byron squad. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> not good. It's funny, it's funny. It's very funny, actually. Yes. <laughs> well, let's see if you think this is funny. A retribution, the heavyweight championship, the hardcore championship. <gasps> Oh, is your mic not working, Jonathan? What a shame! What a shame! I want to see Aaron Stuff and Backup, ladies and gentlemen. Have you finished? Yes. Right, as I was saying, the Heavyweight Championship, the Hardcore Championship, and that Around the Bomb Championship will all be on the line. In a winner takes all. What? A winner takes all. Six man tag team match. Oh my god! Sweet titles! You got it! Can though, that's the thing. You will find he can. <laughs> so Damien Black, JPR, and Uber oh. wow. against myself, yeah. Mustafa Khan. And who else could you possibly have? We have decimated all of your friends. There is no one. Um, there is somebody left. Um, I think I know that name. It is Shima too. I don't mean no respect to you guys, but last week, those two clowns took me out and fractured my arm. But no broken arm is going to stop me getting back on YouTube jackasses. Well done, Jonathan. You found half a man. Congratulations. Yes, I will admit, you two are adequate wrestlers. Thank <laughs> you.
Can we not kill his mind? <laughs> what? Don't you dare! I'm an artist and I will not be silenced by the establishment! We run this show and I will not have you getting in our way! Turn the microphones off and say it, please. No! No, 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 no! no. Sorry, cut, cut the mics. Yeah, that, they're off. Tarantino's been quiet. Tim, Tim, I know you're watching on somewhere. Don't think you're getting away without defending your title either. You'll be stepping in that ring with two opponents. Two? The first one. Is, oh, it's Leone Rose. Is she getting a shot at the women's championship? Leone, I think she is. There we go. But hang on, Jonathan said there were two people in that match. He's looking at me. Who's the other one? The second person in that match will make her debut November 25th. What? It'll be Kirsty Love versus Leon Rose versus Millie McKenzie. <gasps> what? Ah. Never. Not Millie. No. Leone just looked at me. Well, I know who she is. Leone knows who she is. This is Has somebody cut his mic again? I lost the mic again. It's time you shut up. <laughs> so the camera here is that if the firing squad lose, they lose so all their titles. If Team Sedgwick wins, we we'll stop against the heavyweight championship. Jonathan gets the hardcore championship. Two. Guess that round of one title. From Uther. It's all on the line. Three titles in one match, folks. If they lose, you obviously return. <laughs> the well, we all know we're going to win, Red Rocco. We've already dealt with you. We can deal with these back again. Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't know you dealt with me, don't we? Please, bye. Bye. Hey, Tyler. Oh, go on, Brett. Hey, go on, Brett. Bye, Brett, sir. Cut the scene, somebody. Thank you, The firing squad now have a three on three match at Retribution. All the gold on the line. More from Showdown right after this. Stay right where you are. Cut to break. We are back on Friday Night Showdown. And it is now time for the contest for the World Television Championship! Introducing first. Wrestling World Television Champion. He is the 
I'll try, he says. He's just being instructed as Jerker Breed to knock him out, and he said he'll try. He will try. He could will it be try. a very short reign as television champion? It could be, couldn't it? You know? Well, oh, ring the bell, Red Brocker. Could it be a short reign for Paul Hubris? We'll soon find out, I guess. I mean, the winner of tonight's main event faces the television champion at Retribution. But who will it be? Will it be Jacob Reed or Paul Humus? We're going to find out here on Showdown. Humus is trying to fire away at Reed here in the corner. He's got him on the ropes, sir, hasn't he? He has got him on the ropes, you're right. But Jacob Reed's got the crowd around him by his part. Jacob huh? Reed has, you know, he's got well, a lot of any fans, has he? No, but Jacob Reed has a lot of potential. <laughs> He's got all the potential in the world. And could he shock the world tonight and become new world television champion? It could happen, Red Brocker. Happen, right? It could happen. We've said it week it in and week out. It only takes yeah, three seconds to beat somebody. Yeah, that's it. Ask Johan Hunt that. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought he'd like that. Poor Johan. Jacob Reed is trying to... Oh, oh. a blow to blow with Hubris. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's a bit of a dangerous game. Reed, oh, look at that. Got them legs of uh, Jacob Reed. Jacob Reed, by the way, folks. You've never seen him in person. He's six foot four. He's huge. He's, he's tall, isn't he? He's, he's a big he's guy. A and he's flying around with a low clothesline on Hubris. Goes for cover. Two or oh. he flies around a lot more than what you expect a guy yeah, that size to be able to do. I think he was a luchador the way he goes around. Yeah. Now he's got Hubris on his shoulders. Yes. Jacob's yes. ladder yes. spells the end. Yeah, yeah but Hubris out. slides yeah. out. The world television champion has been around the block. He's world travelled. He has been about a bit. Full of somewhere. experience. Yeah. No <laughs> accident that he is the world television champion. And now. Hubris over the ropes, Reed fires up at Hubris, clatters him coming in with a forearm back in comes Hubris with an elbow. Down goes Jacob Reed here. Hubris down gets one and a half. And what about that match before the break that was made for Retribution? It's the firing squad against Jonathan Sedgwick, Mustafa Khan, and Sheik McToom. That's going to be all right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, McToom, Khan, and Sedgwick win all the titles from the firing squad. I'd like to, I, 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 will, I will just love to see this happen. And uh, no, to nobody's surprise, Red Brocker, uh, JPR, who's watching tonight from Firing Squad HQ, not very happy. Oh, well. uh, he says it's a conspiracy theory. Oh, can't, can't complain. Can't comp you know, you just can't please everyone, can you? Do you know what I mean? He thinks it's a con and a conspiracy theory. Oh, well, he theory. would do, wouldn't he? He would, he would do. do, of course yeah, he would. Of course. It's that hard not going to sell well, that was fair. No, because he's got to be in the match, that's why. <laughs> it will be JPR, Damian Black, and Uther in that match. And you read hard into the turnbuckle here by Hubris. That's not wind out of his sails, on it? It has knocked the wind out of his sails, you are quite right. It's Friday Night Showdown still to come tonight. We will see Sebastian Mercer and Kaysen Riley and also Joe Sedgwick and Johan Hunt in tonight's main event. Irish whip by the champ hard into the other corner. Goes the challenger, Jacob Reed. Now Hubris has slowed this down. He's slowed all the momentum that Reed had. He has, yeah, he's definitely took wind out of his sails. He absolutely has. I'm um, uh, sure which way again, but Reed this well, time if catches it in on the second turnbuckle. Paul tries to kick him. It didn't work. And Reed with delirium out the corner. Goes for a cover. Gets two and a half. Do you know what if Jacob Reed lifts? lifts that title tonight he's going to lift the roof at the same I time. think you know so I mean this roof might blow off I think it will I'm just, you know it will be a very very short reign of less than one week if Hubris loses tonight it would be a short reign you know but you, you I, as a I, fair I, general manager I, thought he deserved to defend his title I, I still believe that Leone should have been uh, carrying that title anyway. Yeah, like. well, it should be Leone. We said that last month, we said it this month, but Hubris was the one who won the gauntlet on Saturday night at Hallow Crown. Now, finding out that Jacob Reed is a strong dude. Oh! Tattoos that bold, shiny head with his foot. And now, 
Jacob Reed, could he be about to win the World Television Championship for the oh. first time? Hubris tries it and misses. This ball. And Shit. Reed and drop kicks Hubris in the corner. What a drop kick. It's lethal with them drop kicks. He's a lethal striker, a lethal drop kicker. Fick, uh, picks him up here. Here goes Jacob Reed. Oh, you'll wow. see Andy Oplex. One, two. Oh, oh, it was very close. So winning the World Television Championship. I wonder if Paul's worried yet. You think he's got a bit of a worry going for his, his mind that, that this could be end? Who? Hubris? Yeah. I don't know. Think, he's going to be worried after that. That's what I mean. He, he, must, he must be thinking. Yeah, even more worried now. He's up for Jacob's ladder. This no, could be the end, but no. Hubris is no, holding on to the ropes. So. Hubris holding on to his title for dear life. Yeah. Sends the challenger to the outside, but Reed catches oh. it. Oh, Hubris catches Reed. And now Hubris, oh, he's got him, oh, Red sure, Brocco. No, Not the wrist runner. Here it is. Oh, and just like that, I think uh, this thing you. is over. Good effort, but the essential. Excellent effort. The essential. Yeah. It survives tonight. I don't believe he had match there tonight. This is I the think, thing. You know, the essential I think you were very lucky to come out with that belt tonight. Con, but he's brash, he's confident, but like we just said, Brocco, he backs it up. Yeah. He, oh, every yeah, single yeah. time. He and when he says he's going to do something, he goes out and does he it. Doesn't, doesn't he does it. Whether he does it the right way, it doesn't matter. He gets it done. He gets it done. That's the thing about Hoover's, but he will have to face on tonight's main event. The next time we join you, our next premium live event here from the UKW Arena in Batley, November 25th, three weeks tomorrow, 22 nights from tonight. You can join us at Retribution. Get your tickets now at UKWrestling.tv or come down and see us every yeah. week for Friday Night Showdown and Mayhem. Get, get in here because we've got a great good atmosphere. It's a here. really good atmosphere, it really is. Every Friday, every Wednesday, and then on the show days, Saturday night, the, November the 25th. Views. Or, or you can watch it on our YouTube subscription service. I was in this morning, right, Red Bucker? I was in a, uh, a coffee a coffee shop that will be named Nameless uh-huh. and my hot chocolate that I bought in that coffee shop cost me nearly as much as it is to buy a subscription to our YouTube service I see where you're going now with this so yeah. for literally the price of a cup of coffee you can you can have all that exactly all you that can have catalog. hundreds of hours of back catalogue footage of UKW of me when I was a bit younger uh, and many other people from UKW and you can watch our monthly premium live events live and when they happen yeah. Yeah. You can do that for less than a fiver on our YouTube subscription service. The, the, uh, the hot chocolate can, was nice, by the way. But I bet it was. Yeah. yeah. £4.40. Well, looking, looking oh, my up yeah. But anyway, you can do that and come and join us November 25th and you'll find out who Paul Hubris is going to defend that UK Wrestling World Television Championship against in tonight's main event. What's up next? That's a good question. What is up next? Do you not know? Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. It's Sebastian Mercer. It is. And um, Case and Riley. Riley, these two guys have a lot of back history. They fought it out for the Genesis Championship some months ago. Remember that? Mm. We'll find out what's going to happen in the next chapter of this rivalry. And much more to come when Showdown continues in just a minute. Stay right where you are, folks. 
We are back at his Friday night showdown. It's Brett Hadley and Red Brocco at the desk. And earlier on, we saw the wild card Tommy Dillon with an ambush. Yeah, what's up with him? I, I don't, don't know, but you know what? Our broadcast colleague Dillon Chase has caught up with the wild card Tommy I Dillon to David try. Dillon. 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 Yeah, Dillon. David Dillon. Dillon. Yes, yeah. David. Uh, Dillon Chase oh, yeah, yeah, has yeah, caught yeah, up David with Chase, Tommy yeah. Dillon. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to find out what's on the mark. Why he did? What he did? Can we take you to that footage right now and try and get an explanation? Please welcome my guest at the time, Tommy Dillon. So, Tommy, I know you attacked Cayman tonight. I know you attacked him at Shudder 100. Yeah. I want to say almost, where's this obsession come from? Where's it come from? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a riddle. Okay. What can you sit on, sleep in, and brush your teeth with? A chair, a bed, and a toothbrush. It's obvious. Just like my obsession, so-called obsession, with Kim and Carlisle. Why is it obvious? Because I hate his guts. I'm not the only one. Everyone back here hates his guts because he's a backstabber, he's a liar. And he's held every single one of us back while he smiled to our faces. Well, I'm done smiling, Cayman. I'm laughing at you now. And you will know. Back to you guys at the desk. Yeah. Wow. He's an angry man. You Didn't will know, Red Brocker. You will he's know. done. I don't get it. Still. Wow, Tommy Dillon Kevin, out. Kevin's not. Nah, he's. He's yeah. changed, not he? He's all right. He's, well, he's obviously, good. Tommy Dillon doesn't think so, Kevin's and that's the reason he came out here and. Obviously upset him. What's bed brushing? <laughs> what, what it was obvious. What, what it? Mm. Uh, obviously, what happened was Tommy Dillon did a number on Cayman Carlisle, but I think there'll be some retribution on the line there. I'm sure there will. See what I did there? Yeah, retribution. That. Yeah, clever that. November 25th, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. There Three weeks away. Uh, right, it's time for our next match on Showdown Still to come, that huge main event where we will find out the next contender for Paul Hubris, but not before we've done this, Red Brocker. Yeah, let's have them out. Introducing your next contest on Friday Night Showdown, a singles match scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first. And this is an old rivalry renewed tonight. It certainly is. It certainly is, you are correct. Being accompanied by Cliff Harrison, representing the Breaking Bone Studios, he is the Emerald Bruiser, Sebastian. Mercer! Harrison, uh, a little worse for wear after earlier yeah, on. It's like he's just nursing a few injuries. Yeah! Well, it might keep him quiet ringside then if it's uh, not so well. Mercer doesn't really need any help, does he? Nope. Ah, introducing his opponent. set to go at it one more time here on Friday Night Showdown live from Batley and referee gets it ready, ring the bell Red Brocco and here we go this should be good, Mercer's been training diligently the past few months he has been honing his craft Red Brocco has yes has uh, Sebastian Mercer and Riley we know is experienced in there and these two guys had unbelievable matches earlier in 2023 for the then Genesis Championship where Mercer with that incredible reign of over 100 days and Riley was his greatest throw for that championship it has to be said Don't forget, Harrison's on the outside, although I'm not sure how much use uh, Cliff Harrison's going to be. Yeah. I think he's, 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 he's in with the earlier. 
I think I think you know, he's done a number on him tonight, so I think so. I think, I think he might be a bit quiet hopefully. Like no, I, I can still Mercer, hear him, Mercer. he's not quiet. Uh, yeah, he's shouting a bit. Mercer doesn't need help really, does he? Do you know what I mean? he's, no, he doesn't need the help, he's, he's, he's more than capable, yeah, yeah, and he's getting better, he is, he is definitely. I've seen a lot of improvement on him since Yeah, he's start. probably one of the most improved people we've had in UK, do you? got to give the guy his credit. Yeah. I might not like his attitude and his no, brash no, nature. I don't, I don't but like his attitude sometimes, you know, and I don't, I don't like his, his treating tactics. But you can't deny how much he's improved. No. And this is what I keep saying to people, me and you and everybody else who sits at the desk with me sees these guys week in and week out. As Merson knocks down Case and Riley, we see the improvement. We do go, you know, no matter where you're sat, you do see him change. Riley up and over there, Mercer up and so over as well. Look at this, agility by both men here, Riley. Oh, Mercer's yeah. looking for a hip toss, but he's the one who gets nice taken done. over. Nicely done, he's right by. Former UK wrestling tag team champion Case and Riley. Now picks up Mercer. Oh, Cyborg Sam down he goes. Riley rolls through. Riley with an elbow drop. One fluid motion by Riley down for the cover for two and a half. Now a Mercer who doesn't know what hit him. We don't, does he? I think he's. He's really he's in a rocket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's going to regain his senses, but Riley not letting him do it. No, well, you've got to stay on it now, haven't you? Yeah. you know what I mean? He's got to you keep are quite right. Now he's Walker. got him on ropes, keep him there. Yeah. Out the corner, but no, yeah. Mercer Switches with a reversal. Yeah. And this time, oh, look at the ferocity of that clothesline. Ferocity. That's a good word, <laughs> that. I like that for a Friday night. You know what, sorry? I like them big words Big words, yeah. You know, it's, it's good. A velocity and furious vengeance. Of Sebastian Mercer, who's now got Riley over the ropes here. He's got till five. He uses all of the referee's count to four and a half before he lets go. Yeah, well, he does. Is, he uses that four count, doesn't he? And now, Sam, look at Harrison. Sam, well, yeah. Harrison. Yeah. We said Harrison might not interfere. Yeah. We were weak we, we, we were wrong there. Well, Curse we should, of the commentator. We yeah, we should. Curse Breaking Bone Studios travel together. Now. Mercer with a big suplex on Riley here. This is a chance. Oh, he don't like that, you know. It really gets under his look, skin. Look at him. He it's really good. doesn't like it. Only thing is that Curse is going to suffer. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's got that little extra madness to go. Oh, he's taking all that aggression out yeah, on Case and Riley from the crowd. Yeah. Who were at him with that crab boy chance, Sebastian the Crab. Sebastian yeah, the yeah. Crab, yeah. They were at him with that. And now Riley on the receiving end of the anger. No, but he gets his foot up. He's going back for more. Yeah, but this time Mercer catches the foot. The second time wasn't the charm, Robrocco. Mercer down for a cover here. All his weight, but Riley slides out at two. Mercer now on the back. We've seen Mercer. He loves working on people's does, body parts yeah, yeah, and his back. He's very good at backbreakers and power bombs and things that hurt your back. He's got all his weight on that. Yeah. There's a spine there and all that. That's going to be hurting him. That's going to hurt him. It's me watching it. You know when you and David Chase go, oh, Brett, why don't you get in the ring and yeah, wrestle? Why don't you? Because I don't want things like this happening to me. That's why. Hey, David, I'll look after you. Absolutely not. Oh. And now Mercer with a kick fires off Riley. Some separation between these two old rivals going at it on Friday Night Showdown. Old partners still to go at it in tonight's main event. Joe Sedgwick and Johan Hunt one on one. And, and uh, Mercer with a big back elbow there. And you heard Harrison then say Mercer has the best strikes in the game. He, uh, he certainly has uh, got some good strikes on him, hasn't he? But are they the best in the game? I don't know whether they're the best, the but, but they're definitely, uh, they're definitely powerful. They're and definitely they're decent, decent, right? Yeah. And now, Mercer enjoying himself now, dishing out the punishment, of course. Taking his time. He does seem to enjoy that, doesn't he? Dishing out punishment, yeah. yeah. And who wouldn't, to be yeah. fair? Who wouldn't? Well, there you go, then. You better find out. <laughs> who wouldn't? Now look at Mercer kicking away in the corner here. That's not good if you are 
Okay, so I'll look at Harrison again while Mercer's distracting the ref. One more time, Cliff Harrison interfering. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, no surprise there whatsoever. He couldn't resist it, could he? Can't help himself. And now, Mercer, oh, but this time, Riley ducks under, and both men trying the same thing, and Riley gets the better of it at this point. And Mercer's gone for a walk now. And now Mercer, yeah, regrouping on the outside with his partner here. I don't know if it's a good idea to follow him now, not when they're both out there. No, there are two of the Breaking Bones studios and only one of Cliff Harrison. Uh, so uh, Kirsten Riley and Cliff got he's Cliff, just Cliff, deserves Cliff, there, yeah. back, he's up for Cliff on the brain but Mercer look cuts him off coming in. Oh now he's working that back again now. Again yeah he's very good at it Red Rocco. He oh, might not yeah, like it. What I'm saying, he is he's, he's, he's definitely a good good wrestler like he is I just uh, this is attitude. You despair when I see him. You despair. Behaving <laughs> like he does. You despair because, but again, it's like the Paul Hoover syndrome. He's loud, he's brash, but he backs it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does definitely. He's, he's not all talk, is he? Not. Time. Oh, no, he's a lot of talk, but he backs it up. Can Mercer, the Emerald Bullet, put away. Oh, Case and Riley here on Friday Night Showdown. Episode 102 we've made it to already. In case and Riley get back in this. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I won't write him off, you know. He's... Never write Case and Riley off. No, no, no not at all. Never write the pride of the council estate off. Former UK wrestling tag team champion here trying to fight back, but Mercer with the advantage on the hard Irish whip. But uh, Riley puts on the brakes and an elbow up to the second rope on the inside. There's Case of Riley. Arm drag, this match continues. Riley and Mercer when showdown is back in a moment. We're back in his Friday night showdown, Sebastian Mercer, Case and Riley one on one. It's Red Rocco and the Voice UKW Voice Original, Brett Hadley here. This crowd firmly on the side of Case and Riley. Yeah, they are, they're definitely up for him, aren't they? We hear Harrison on the outside is going, Mercer, Mercer's the only one. Yeah, he's the only one shouting for Mercer. He is. And now, out the corner, snap mat by oh, Sebastian good. Mercer, who kicks Riley square in the back. Great straight hit back. Yep. It's already hurting. Yeah, he's been working away through the match diligently, has Sebastian Mercer. Diligently, what a word. That is for your Friday night, and again... You have definitely swallowed that dictionary. I know, you? yeah, I swallowed two this morning. Two? Yeah, yeah. Maybe one for dinner before I came out as well. <laughs> and now, look at the foot of Mercer on the neck. Of Case and Riley. So, so I'm telling him not to. Uh... Oh, and it gives Riley time to get back up. Chops Mercer in the chest. Big chops as well, though, aren't yeah. they? We like our chops. Chops for breakfast, we, we anyone? Get, yeah, definitely. But not, not that kind. No, nope. Irish whip, but no. Oh, look at Riley rolls through. Has he got Mercer here? Two and a half. Maybe three quarters. Mercer kicked in the midsection. Riley looking for summer nights, the DDT. Mercer out the back. And Mercer with a T-bone. The exploder suplex. Out goes Case and Riley. Is it enough? No. The exploder no, suplex. To give up yet. No, not enough. The crab boy no, chants are back. Mercer again distracted by it. You see, sometimes you've got to just try and not listen to the crowd when they're, you know, against It's difficult like though. No, yeah, of course as loud is, yeah. as uh, our crowd is, Brock. Oh, it's yeah. difficult. It is. No, but Mercer, now look at that. Boston Crab. And what does this do? It puts agonizing pressure. It certainly does right on, on that your back. back. And, and it's nowhere near it, Rock. No. Now, can, I mean, he, can he drag himself? Earlier on, we saw Cliff Harrison tap out to Leone Rose, but this time. Case and Riley does get to the ropes and Mercer uses all the referees count yeah, before he lets go. Let go straight away he's no, not he's smart. Do. He knows he's got till five. Yeah. Full well he knows. That, Sebastian that's Mercer definitely. now instead of going back over to Riley, shouting yeah, the crowd, he needs to be focused. Crowd, he should just get straight in that match. Yeah, but he's gonna antagonise Mercer. 
Is, is the lower didn't uh, recover, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Oh. Riley's been battered around him. Oh, he smacked Beautiful. Mercer right in the face. And throws him in the head. And might you several kill that momentary lapse from Mercer. Yeah, might have cost him. Could have done. Inside by Riley. Still in time to find his feet again. Yep. The second wind is on. Mason Riley to the midsection. Big knee lift. Usually followed by that. Well, this could be it. This could be it. It could be. Mercer is down, almost out of it. Wow, how did he get out of that? He powered out. Mercer had no choice but to use all his I strength. Ready the bell then, we were That's almost it. ready to ring the bell, but no. Harrison willing on his Breaking Bones Studios partner on Friday Night Showdown. Oh, Mercer, look at this. On the shoulders, the root bomb. Oh, no. Down goes Case and Riley. Mercer says that's it. He's got it as Riley somehow kicks out. Fantastic match Riley's between got these a lot two. Of fighting, he? They've both got a lot of fight well, in them. Gotta yeah. be fair to Mercer here. Yeah, Thought it was three times. The referee needs to learn how to count, but it was only two. Sebastian Mercer looking to put Case and Riley away and give him anything but a happy ending here. Riley under hook, but Riley fighting through. He's fighting it, look. Yeah, he's trying his best. Case and Riley kicks him in the midsection, and there is the Summer Nights DDT. Tell me more, Mr. Brocker, because this, this one is over. Oh, oh. no, it's not. Oh, wow. Oh. How did Mercer kick out? I haven't got a clue. How the hell did Sebastian Mercer kick out? It just shows how much he wants it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Mercer is a ferocious competitor. The heart of a lion. Sebastian Mercer comes through, but now Case and Riley's got to put him away somehow. Riley waiting, maybe the case in point to make the ultimate point. On Sebastian Mercer, here he goes for it. Case and Riley, but Mercer's caught him. Mercer catches him and he's kicking away right in the face. Sebastian Mercer, now he's got him lined up, Red Brocco. Riley's in trouble, there is the Emerald Bullet. So that's it. Yeah. And Riley is out. What a great match that was. What an excellent match that was, wasn't it? Amazing. In the end, Sebastian Mercer pulls through with a victory. Here's your winner, the Emerald Bruiser, Sir. What a match on Friday Night Showdown, it has to be said. But in the end, Mercer pulls it out. Yeah, he did. One word on the summer. Breaking Bone Studios, one and one tonight. One and one. Here on Friday Night Showdown. and Harrison, the Breaking Bone Studios, right here on Friday Night Showdown, and an impressive victory for Mercer tonight. No doubt the BBS are here to stay. The case of Riley left to uh, regain his composure after that tough loss. But that was a great match between those two, wasn't it? It was. Not uh, half, yeah. Well, you can it all only there, you see know. action like that right here on Friday Night Showdown every single week, Wednesday Night Mayhem and Monday Night. You're never going to get let down for action if you come no, here. Like you know I mean? you you Whether you're watching on YouTube yourself. or you're coming down here yourself, you're never going to get let down. And we saw the Breaking Bones Studios there, Mr. Brocco, but on Saturday night, Breaking Bones Studios went to Tag Team Warfare it is. with their rivals. And in the end, the two guys I'm going to bring out here in a minute were victorious over the Breaking Bones Studios. Should we get them out? Better do one, shall we? Yeah, should we do it? I, I, think, think, I think we think, should. Think we this should. crowd are going to get even louder. I'm really, really looking forward to this, man. Well, the match coming up in a bit. Joe Sedgwick and Johan Hunt to find out who's going to face Paul Hubris at Retribution. But now it's time to get out our next guests here. And uh, yeah, they had a war with the BBS on Saturday night. They did. 
and I'm not another good batch. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday Night Showdown. Would you... Oh, my mic's gonna get... Is it not? My yeah. mic's gonna get... Oh, there we go. Would you please welcome to the stage at this time... I think the battery's going to be my mic, you know. Bye, bye, bye. They are the team of Hans and Lazar and Momentum. They are NRG. <laughs> we got there. We got there. <laughs> And these guys had the war of all wars on Saturday night. Oh, that one works, have that one. There we go, yeah, yeah. I'll give them the working mic because I'm nice. Yeah, well, you're very kind like that. I'm right? a kind of sort of guy, that. yeah. You can't, take, you can't take it away from me, so you've got to let these speak. So, if you didn't see how crowd, myself, Hans and Mussola, this guy, Momentum, NRG, we beat the Breaking Bones to you. Once again, we proved no matter what match it is, give us ladders, give us chairs, give us tables, lock us in a 24 steel cage, no matter what happens, we're going to shine and we're going to show exactly who runs this tag team division NRT! Crowd love Hamza and Mo. Oh, they're just. They really do. Right, I think say, everybody does that. We were locked inside the steel cage and we beat the Breaking Ball Studio. Well, they have the advantages. They give them a cheap shot on the stage over there. We still took the advantage and we still beat them. They locked me inside with two of them against two on one for Hamza on that side and we still beat them. Like I said, we beat them the Breaking studio and they're in the past now. So it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Oh, whoa, 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 Harrison and Mercer are back. Oh, they said they're in the past. That Mercer and Harrison heard every word. Oh, and I don't think they're in the past at all, Red Brocker. I don't think they are. No, not yet. I don't think so. And then our team just got still. blindsided. I was hoping, trying to fight back. I was hoping cage match would sort it. You know? well, I was hoping it would as well, but no, this rivalry looking set to go on. And now, oh, not the final fracture. Oh, I got a minute. Momentum point out. Oh, and down goes Harrison and Mercer down. And now NRG have taken over on the Breaking Mode Studios here. And the BBS scurrying to higher ground. Uh, they are off, you are right. No, 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 I said this, I said we're good with you. We beat you last week, we proved you where the better team. You were the team running your mouth, the team said you won the tag division, but when you lost last week, you lost all respect on the tag team. That's what I'm going to say. Hamza actually has some special to announce. Hamza has something to say here. No, 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 no. You ain't got nothing to say. But no, you want to go to matches? Give me a microphone, turn it on. I don't punch you like you did that. No, 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 no. You want nothing to announce. You want nothing to us. You are going up and we say your turn. Oh, this is Mike. Get out. Mercer saying he's done when they say they're done. We are the Breaking Ball Studio. Where's your title? Where's your title? Where's your title? Where's your title? These two teams clearly are not done with each other. There's plenty more to come from these, I think. I think so. This thing is not over by a long shot. Breaking Ball Studio's frustrations. Boiling over here. This isn't over, lads. I'm saying it's not over. It's not over. The Breaking Bow Studio swearing this thing isn't over. Red Brocker. They are saying that this isn't over. I didn't think you were then, you know. When it... Wow, this thing not over. But I'll tell you what. I'm 
main event, Joe Cedric and Johan Hunt is here in moments. Contendership stakes on the line when showdown continues in just a minute. We are back on Friday Night Showdown. Joe Sedgwick already in the ring. He couldn't wait, Red Brocco. It could work, no, and here comes his opponent. He's missed it, Alec. And introducing his opponent. Remember, this is for the Noir Contendership for the World Television Championship. The winner goes on to face the essential champion, Paul Hubris, at Retribution, November 25th. Well, have I screwed you over? How about one? Two matches in a steel gate. Are you actually kidding me? You've got a match to do now. Get off with that. Hey. Oh, Johan behind you. Too busy yeah. talking was Johan Hunt. Thanks, and Joe. Joe had had enough, thank God. Cedric is back. Ring the bell, Brocker. Oh, Cedric not going to let Johan Hunt berate you, Red Brocker. Cedric, up in the air is Johan Hunt. Look at him think He's about it. Look at this. It. Anyway, Cedric, going? one arm. Just in the lights of Johan Hunt, Cedric is all fired up, level. yeah. He is every level of fired up after that. Isn't he just? Oh my days. Oh, lovely. Cedric is looking for vengeance on anything with a heartbeat. Yeah, everybody at He wants Hubris most. I think he does. And there is no doubt in my mind he wants Hubris. He is seeing Johan Hunt as a stepping stone here. In I his think way, that's all it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, to get that television championship. Get your big out power out slam by Joe. He's got yeah. Johan here. Is that it? Two and a half. Joe Cedric all fired up after returning Saturday night. Cedric up and over in the corner though. Johan Hunt one step ahead on that occasion. Cedric on the apron. Cedric gets his foot caught. Johan Hunt kicks Cedric. And Johan was the longest reigning television champion. 161 days he managed it before Cedric came back. After Hubris had won, after Johan Hunt had lost that title in about three minutes to Leone Rose. Good it was idea. a wild night at Hello Graham, Red Brocco. Yeah, what it just. It was a crazy night. Brilliant night. Check it out right now. The replay is on our YouTube subscription service. And it never stops. Never does. Every week we are relentlessly here with wrestling action in Batley. And Cedric looking to make a triumphant return by beating somebody he was once tag team champions with. Yeah, the old pals. But yep, Johan Hunt with there. a big drop kick. Actually, just uploaded a couple of days ago. You can see from last year, Johan Hunt and Joe Cedric in a ladder match for the tag team championships against the guys we saw before the break, the NRG. They worked well together that night, didn't they? Yeah. I, that, I that was that, a long actually. time ago, though, bro. I've Brock. seen it, we're on. I watched it again the other day. It was a long time ago now, that. It does seem a long time. It does. Since, doesn't it? So that match is now on our YouTube channel. You can watch it. One of the best tag team matches we've ever had in this building. Definitely. Absolutely. And Cedric and Hunt now, like I said, a lot of water under a lot of bridges since then. Johan Hunt knows his way around. Well, he does, doesn't he? And he's not happy that he lost that television championship after 161 yeah, I gathered days. that from his little uh, yeah, his little tyrant outburst there. Too. Yeah. And he would love to get an opportunity of getting it back. He could do that. All he's got to do is defeat the very hungry. Yeah, well, winner. Yeah, winner very passionate. He's got to get that yeah. chance, in it? But yeah. It's only one way back to the championship summit for Johan Hunt and it's to beat Joe Cedric. Johan Hunt, very technically proficient, rolls through an STO. Down goes Cedric right on his head. Johan Hunt with the hook of the leg here gets two and a half. Not enough. Woo, not enough. The hunger of Cedric. We saw him, you know, parading as a cameraman at the weekend. 
and that super that kicking. Was, that was a moment, wasn't it? It was. That was a moment as well. Time. That was a bulldog. I'll never forget that. Yeah. No. I'll never forget just James's reaction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was great. He didn't realise at all. I, when, as soon as Cedric got in there, I was like, I yeah, know who this is. Yeah. But just James had no idea, and I love him to bits for it. Big suplex by Johan Hun. Cedric's been grounded here after that ferocious start. And the adrenaline. Between both of them, there's a lot of adrenaline. There is, a lot of adrenaline, right a lot of testosterone, yeah, a lot of hunger, <laughs> a lot of championship <laughs> desire. Cedric up and over, but Johan Hunt cuts him off. Cedric cuts off Hunt this time. And now, Joe Cedric reversed by Johan Hunt. And again colliding. Johan Hun wants that television championship back. He does, yeah. I can understand him wanting it back. Oh, I, I, I don't like it, but I can understand no. him wanting it back. That's yeah. natural. It, it's uh, now looking for the Wolf 1 9, but it's Joe. Yep, out of the way at the last minute. Close line by Cedric, back up to his feet here. Shoulder tackle. And now looking for the blue thunderbomb. Oh, I miss saying that. One, two, and a half. Never. Oh my God. That was close so as close, close can so be. Close. Come on, Joe. They're all shouting for you. Closer than close. Closer than you could ever imagine. This match, our main event Friday night showdown, the winner goes to face Paul Hubris at our next pay-per-view event. It will be Retribution, Saturday night, November 25th, 22 nights from tonight, right here in Batley. Which one of these men is going to face the essential champ? Who's your money on? I've got no idea which way this is going to go, Bob. No, it's been even back and forth here. Yeah, so far, yeah. And I want Cedric to get the shot. Yeah, I want Definitely. him yeah. to reach his potential. I want him to be a singles champion. I want him to prove to everybody what I've known the whole time I've seen him progress and grow as a man and a wrestler he's been around here so long he has, he's but born into it he's it, born he? into no, it it's in his blood it's in his blood it's... but this is the Cedric I've always wanted to see yeah. the one with the fire in his belly yeah, yeah. might be looking to put the finishing touches on Johan Hunt who rolls out the way and avoids disaster the wolf played out the corner and Cedric's momentum stopped is Johan Hunt going to get his rematch he's not yet not yet <laughs> Again, two and a half for Johan Hunt. Raise me freaking wolves, don't you know? That's, that's what they say. Raise me what freaking wins? Wolves, wolves, wolves. 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 Up to the top ropes he goes. And now oh, Cedric puts him off. Johan is caught on the most precarious point here at the top of the uh, top of the ring. It's not a good place to be. No, it's it? not. Have you ever been to the top rope? Yeah, oh yeah. Have yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in your dreams. No, I'm just not. Was recently. it a nightmare? Not recently. Have you ever been super bikes? No. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh my God. Cedric just super bikes his former tag team championship partner all the way down from about ten feet in That's the air. That's a long way down, isn't it? It's a long, oh, long way up. Whichever way you're looking at. A long, uh, a long way down. And now Cedric might be about to end this with the attacks here and get his shot at Paul Hubris, but no, Stefan Hunt out the back door and now might be looking for that phantom stomp, the most Not deadly today. move in UK wrestling, but no, Cedric counters. And now Cedric with Hunt on his shoulders. He hits the attacks here in the middle of the ring. Hunt is down. Has Cedric got it? Yes, he has. Cedric's got the championship match. Oh, 
champion. These two men are on the most almighty collision course. Umus the champion, Cedric the hungriest challenger. Red Brocco having to get between these guys. This is tense. There is a lot of bad blood between these two guys. Umus tried to end Cedric's career a few weeks ago. He didn't succeed. And now Cedric is back, hungrier than ever. And Cedric wants the World Television Championship that Hubris has in his hand. Listen to this crowd. Look at Cedric. He's all fired up. And that is the match, Saturday night, November 25th. Joe Cedric, Paul Hubris, one-on-one -on -one for the World Television Championship. This thing is boiling over, folks. Hubris deciding to get out of here. You're done. You're done. That's it. That's it. I'm doing it. You're done. And listen to these guys. But Cedric has the chance, November 25th. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the new number one contender for the television championship, Joe Cedric! It is on like Donkey Kong Red Rocco, Saturday night, November 25th. This thing is going to boil over, you do not want to miss it. Imagine what that's going to be like. That is in the night of Joe Cedric's life. We're going to find out Saturday night, November 25th. Retribution's on the way. We'll be back for Wednesday Night Mayhem, Monday Night Ignite, and Friday Night Showdown next week. I need to lie down after that. We need a week on. A week yeah, I think off so. Man, yeah. Thanks very much. We'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves, everybody. We'll be back on Showdown next Friday. Good see night, you next everybody. Week. Thank you, guys. Thank you.